I want to feel rich. <laughs> I want to feel like I'm getting doctor money. Like, you know. I'm on my way to work. Well, I'm getting, um, I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, oh, honey. I had my hair in like two braids for my wig. And then, um, I took it out and it's like, like, what's up? What's up? I, I, I don't know. Why is my nose red? Uh, but, um, I got these three bandages on my face because, oh, I had, um, first I had one pimple, popped it, um, that created another pimple. No, that created a hole. I don't know why I've been getting pimples and um, it creates a hole in my freaking face. But um, it created a hole and then I covered it up. It's still a hole, but it's not painful or swollen anymore. I know you're not supposed to touch pop the pimples, but they were getting to the point where they were just bulging out of my face to like, to the point where like if I didn't pop them today going to work putting on the mask that pressure on that because like it's right at the lining you know well at least right here it would have popped it and ugh, that crap would have been nasty but um today is Christmas and I do have to go to work I actually had to go to work yesterday but I thought it I wasn't able to make it so I didn't go Christmas Eve and um but i'm gonna go tonight i mean you know i ain't got no choice but to go tonight but i ain't about to call in again we'll go but yeah so like that so i'm gonna put a cap over it and then we just gonna call it a day because i ain't got time to be trying to look all i don't never be trying to look all for work you see, I started putting back my lashes on because, I don't know, I just feel better with my lashes because I don't wear makeup anyway. Well, at least I really don't wear a lot of it. So, um, yeah, so I don't wear a lot of it. So, the lashes and my eyebrows done, I look okay. So yeah, I'm about to put this on my freaking head. Look at this. I can wear it like this. <laughs> I mean, that'll be a little cute, you know, so I can look a little decent. So I can at least, you know, have my little bun sticking out. Yeah, that's a little cute. Who am I? Baby? Let me cover this crap up and just have a little, a little butt in the back of my head. So yeah, when I tell y'all I don't feel like going to work, I really do not feel like going to work. Like, and today is my only day that I'm off for the weekend. Well, I'm off, you know, my um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but I just don't want to go. Like, huh? It's just so freaking annoying. <laughs> No one's ain't hey, well I won't put me drinking no coffee with all that cream. I just wanna lay in my bed and just watch YouTube videos. Let me tell y'all. So I had this job. Okay, so I, I put another application at another place also at another hospital. They called me, gave me a whole runaround about a phone interview. So I scheduled a phone interview. I think I mentioned in my last video, but I scheduled a phone interview they didn't call me so i'm like it is what it is another um then they end up get, sending me an email telling me that um dang everybody had jack in the box it's the only place open but they end up sending me an email saying that um thank you for confirming for the phone interview for the phone interview to be christmas eve i'm like why the heck would i schedule a phone interview for christmas eve that's not even i wouldn't even think to do that because it's the freaking holiday so i 
email back and I said, hey, um, I just got an email saying that you're confirming my interview for the 24th. I never set it up for the 24th. I set it up for last week, but no one ever called me. She said, oh, well, um, I just received that you confirmed it. No. And after she sent me that, I got another email asking me to confirm it. What the heck is going on? So they called me. I end up doing a little phone interview. And then they set up an in-person interview for next week. They said that they was going to confirm it once they speak to the manager. They spoke to the manager, I guess, because I received the email stating that we have confirmed your in-person interview. Gave me all the instructions. So, um, my freaking phone um, battery is about to die. But anyway, so they end up... I'm going to just go back. So... I got an email saying that we have confirmed your um, in-person interview, and they gave me all the instructions, and then I got another email saying saying that, you know those emails when you get, when you put in an application, but they didn't pick you, and they said that they went with another candidate? I got an email right after that saying that we have chosen another candidate, sorry, you know, thank you so much for taking your time for the application, please. Keep, keep an open mind and, uh, you know, continue to look at our options to see if there's another position available. And I'm like, wait, you're saying you're going with somebody else, yet you just offer me an interview. And you just called me. To, like, what are you doing? What are y'all doing? Because y'all seem like y'all not organized. And I'm not driving all the way down there for no unorganized foolery because I ain't got time for it. Like, I'm already dealing with it now. I ain't got time for it. I really don't. Why is that gumbo? Let me say hi to the camera. What are you doing? I'm recording you. Layla, you just mad. Jordan! Jay was looking for his bank book. Jordan! YouTube lately um well like other um LVNs and I see that like everybody's making big money like when I say big money I'm talking about big 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 money like now I knew like I, I knew that you know since the pandemic the money was there but when I tell you bank like 10,000, 10, 12,000 a month. A month. A month. Like, baby. If I was making 10,000 a month. <laughs> but anyway, so as I'm, you know, watching the videos and I'm, you know, hearing everybody talking about, you know, they're doing through, they're getting paid. They're, they're getting that pay through the agency. I'm like, dang, like. I could do this, like, like even though I have kids, like, I could possibly do this. Like, I can take on an assignment for, like, a whole week straight, you know, and make about 4000 5000 that in that one week, in that one week. Like, it's just so crazy. It blows my mind, like, the fact that the money is there. You just have to want to go out and get it, like... It's like the money is there. When I tell you, when I tell you, 
Like, yeah, dang. It just, it's just mind-blowing the fact that, you know, I've been a nurse. I've been an a LVN for about two years now. Next year, you know, next year in October, I'll, I'll be, um, it'll make my third year. But, you know, it's just mind-blowing the fact that I've been a LVN for just two years making the standard rate, you know, of a two-year experienced nurse. And you got nurses coming out here less, got LVN, same as me, coming out here yes, than, less than a month experience. Making guap. Like, they making that guap. Like, what? It's just mind-blowing. It is just, it's crazy. It's like, dang, I can make that my money. Like, whew. And it's like the same feeling how I felt at my job. Like, you know, like, it's in my face. The money is sitting in my face. Like, it's sitting in my face saying, do you want it? I have it. But you can't get it. <laughs> that's how That's how I was feeling at my job. Because I'm like, honey, the money's there. It wasn't even offered to me. And people getting paid like this? And I'm working somewhere where they getting paid like this? But now there's other jobs out there. It's like, who? Y'all offering this? I can get paid like this? I mean, and it's always, you know, when you think about it, it's like there's always a reason behind, you know, they paying that much because of what? You know, you probably gonna walk up in there short staff, only nurse on the freaking floor. You know, you're gonna be, you're gonna walk into some crap. But shoot, I'm doing it now, walking into some crap, and I'm not getting compensated for it. It's like, shoot, I might as well go somewhere and get compensated for it. Like, I don't know. But if any nurses, LBN, RN out there um, watching this video, congratulations on making that freaking money. Because when I tell you, ooh. Like coming from like I used to like I used to be a CNA. I started out as a CNA and making I started out making nine dollars an hour. That was when I first no, it was nine twenty five an hour. That was when I first my very first time becoming a um a CNA, I made nine dollars an hour. And then after that I went to another job that offered ten dollars an hour. And I thought I was getting paid. Cause you know, the hours and the shifts and stuff that I'm working, the, the money was it, it was it was good you know but now it's becoming a nurse it's like the money's even better and then now seeing people making making even more than what it was what i was making when i when it was better it's like dang i want to feel rich <laughs> i want to feel like i'm getting doctor money like you know like dang Share a little bit of it. Anyways, so I'm not working New Year's, New Year's Eve or New Year's because I work Christmas. Well, like the, my how my shift rotates, I work Christmas Eve and Christmas. I didn't work Christmas Eve, but I still end up, you know, it still falls how my um, rotation falls on. I, I'm off on New Year's Eve and New Year's, but. So I worked, um, working the holidays, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Cause you do get that shift diff. Oh, just think about it. Getting that shift diff. No, not even shift differential. Getting holiday pay on top of that guap for working, you know, being from working in a COVID unit or COVID or just getting offered more money from a facility because of the circumstances of being a pandemic. And you making holiday pay on top of that, baby. That's bank, bank, bank. Like, come on. But it's not bad working a holiday. I mean, at least a night shift is not bad working a holiday because, um, you know, you do all your stuff during the day, and then come six, seven o'clock, you good. Unfortunately, me, I don't even think I'm gonna get holiday pay because I think for full timers, and that's another thing. That's another thing about full time. If you are a full-time employee and your schedule, and I think this is what it is. This is just what I heard. I'll see when my check get here. But when you work, when your schedule 
Christmas Eve and Christmas or the day after Christmas or whatever, you don't get that holiday pay. You get, I think, time and a half for working if you're scheduled the if you're scheduled to work the day before or the day you know if you're scheduled to work the day before and the day of you get and you work those shifts you get time and a half plus your time um well yeah time and a half and then if you're not scheduled to work the holiday but you're scheduled to work the day before or the day after and you don't work it you don't get the um you, you just i think you just get the, your your regular 12 hours you get like a tw 12 extra hours so that sucks because you know i won't be getting it i don't think i'll be getting it but i mean it is what it is i don't really care i mean shoot i didn't work christmas eve oh oh well oh well it was just like working a regular shift there was no holiday spirit in the air nothing this is my first time actually um, working with this facility during the holidays so they like so what they gave us for freaking holiday for a holiday gift thank you for the light sir so what they gave us for a holiday gift was this man ain't got no lights on was um a pie I ate that pie. At first, I was like, I ain't eating this damn pie. But I took that pie and I ate it. I didn't eat all of it because it had too much filling inside. It was pecan pie. You know, the inside, it's all, you know, that filling inside. You know, inside, you because you have the pecan and you have the crust on the bottom and the filling inside. The filling was too much. But I did eat two slices of it. I sure did have me some ice cream too. Vanilla ice cream and I had my pie. I sure did. I said, I'm going to eat this pie. They gave it to me. I'm going to take it and I'm going to eat it. And I sure did. Me and my husband. You know, you don't want to sound ungrateful or nothing. But it's like after we expressed how we was feeling, we don't feel like the place care for us. We don't feel, you know, we, 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 we expressing these feelings like, hey, we have a problem with this, this, and that. This is not fair. Y'all doing this wrong. Y'all, you know, short staff. Leaving us left. Ah, oh, come on, light. Leaving us, you know, just out there. Like, F y'all, basically, that's how it felt. Nothing. 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 Everything that's exposed to COVID. Barely giving in PPE until somebody complained. Ooh, come on now. And Christmas. And we working Christmas. Can't be with our family because we have to be up here to monitor these COVID people. And you give us a pie? Come on. Like, what if I was dieting during that time? I couldn't eat that pie, so technically you gave me nothing. But, you know, at that time, I wasn't dieting. So, you know, I ate that pie. I sure did. But the fact that you gave me a pie, and then you're going to give us a card. And, you know, from a job, when you get a card as a gift or an envelope as a gift during the holiday, what's the first thing you going to think? What is the first thing you going to think? Oh, they gave me a gift card. Oh, I got some money in here. I got a gift card. Five dollars or something. Just come on. Did they do that? Baby gave us a freaking blank freaking card. Not a blank card, but thank you so much for what you, you tell. Like, come on now. You tell us that every day. And you're going to give me a, not, not, and, not, and not even every day. We get a little message on the freaking computer. Thank you for all that you have done. The family's appreciated. No, they don't because they freaking cussing us out after y'all leave and they call us. So I don't think they really appreciate what we're doing because we get cussed out. So, come on now. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It's just the icing on the cake. I ain't never had no Christmas gift like that from the freaking, from any facility. Any facility. Even when it was a doing you dirt doggone bad. Like, I ain't never had nothing like that in the facility. You know, if you want to deal with it, you'll stay with it. If you don't, you'll move. You know? make your decision so looks like i'm dealing with it right now because i'm on my way to the job so <laughs> god
Godly. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. Out with 2020 and with 2021. Peace.